Well, I've been involved in the Giants of Cancer Care selection process for the last several years, and I've really enjoyed it. You know, it really gets you to think about who's made the biggest difference in the field. And um, while we don't want this to be a celebrity type of situation, it's really about trying to identify uh, those researchers and oncologists who really try the hardest and really have the most innovation and most impact in the field. Um, I was at an event last night for the Chemotherapy Foundation uh, where they were honoring um, uh, Jim Holland. And Jim Holland, of course, is an iconic figure in the field and a giant of cancer care, uh, uh, recently elected. And uh, they showed a, a movie that uh, really profiled three uh, huge figures in the field, Dr. Holland, Dr. Fry, and Dr. Fryreich, uh, when they, in the 1950s and 60s, basically started to attack the problem of childhood leukemia. And, and I think when you look at movies like this, the movie's called Walk on the Wild Side, and it was really about a, a, a woman's process of going through cancer treatment herself and she sought out these giants and interviewed them. When you look at their story and when you hear their story, what you know is that at that time there was tremendous nihilism, tremendous uh, lack of knowledge about cancer and fear of cancer. And it really takes pioneers like Dr. Holland, Dr. Fry, Dr. Fryreich to uh, attack the problem and face it in, in the, in the uh, setting of where other people would not. And I, and I think that's really what the Giants program, the Giants of Cancer Care is intended to acknowledge. Certainly our time is much easier than it was back then. Everyone is very excited about the progress we're making, although we have a long way to go in many, many cancers. And I think acknowledging the people who have done the most in these fields um, helps to encourage young people and, and people in their mid-career and senior people to continue to, to keep their eyes on the prize, which is to try to find cures for cancer.